Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Shmriti, a BSc Nursing 4th year student here in Nepal. Many people have been asking me about what books to use or what study materials to use in nursing. So I really wanted to share with you guys what sort of books and what study materials that I had used in my first, second, third and am using in my fourth year. I'll be doing this video series for all of my four years of nursing. Now keep in mind that these are the books that I had used and I'm not telling you that this is the book that you must read or something. These are the references book that you can like, you know, get an idea about and most of them are sort of Nepali writer book so it will be easy for you guys to access it as well and also I'm a BSc nursing student so I do not have any idea about PCL nursing and I do not even aim at you know talking about things that I really don't know yet so I guess this is for BSc nursing and I hope this video helps you in some ways so today we are going to talk about the study materials to use in your first year of BSc nursing and also do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to know more about nursing and as well as if you want to follow me through my nursing journey because I'm almost about to complete my bachelor's well we'll see about that The first subject is fundamental of nursing or foundation of nursing. Now this subject actually is the base for nursing. It really provides you information about literally everything that you do as a nurse. Either it be a patient care, a dead body care, some procedures that you have to do and everything. It just deals with everything. So the book that I used during my first year for fundamental of nursing is a textbook of fundamental nursing by Sumita Pathak and Rama Devgota. Now these two writers are very famous in nursing profession in Nepal. They've written quite a lot of books and this book actually helps you a lot. Well, it is based on our curriculum, is really very helpful and has been helpful throughout the nursing like not only in first year but also in your second, third and fourth year when you go to your clinicals. Every basic things is written are written in here so it really helps you and it is written in a very simple language and is really very important so yeah this is the first book now for community health nursing um the name tells it deals with the health and aspects related to community and what you do as a nurse now there are different books for community nursing as well for community nursing i bought a textbook of community health nursing by Binda Khimire. Now this book was actually, um, you know, there I have not, I did not find any community health nursing book that actually has all the curriculum in one. So there, you you might need to like, you know, look into different books as well. So for this community health nursing book, there were half of my curriculum for first year and half was used in my second and third year so another book that you can use for your community health nursing is a community health nursing book by Kabita Dahal that book is really very nice as well so half portion of our curriculum is in that book and half portion is in this book but I did buy this book and I was glad that I bought it because it actually helped me in my other year of nursing as well but you can like choose any otherwise and as well as you can like you can do one thing you can buy one of the book and the other is probably will be available in your library so you can like access to libraries and stuffs and like you know make your own notes or something so yeah the next subject is pharmacology in nursing and well I did not actually buy any book for pharmacology my teacher actually gave every every notes that you require but once we had this test a class test for biochemistry and our biochemistry sir was very kind enough to gift a pharmacology book uh, to the winner and gladly I was one of the winner like there were I guess two winners and I was one of the winner and so I got pharmacology for nurses book as a gift and this is by Sanu Ahmad and Pradeep Regmi this book was actually really really very helpful and I was really very lucky to get this book because I was not buying any book for pharmacology but I got it and it was a great reference all the drugs and essential things whatever you need to study in your pharmacology is in this book and it was really very 
helpful to like go through your notes as well as go through this book as well so yeah this is one of the book that i used for pharmacology pharmacology is so hard you guys like you have to read a lot for pharmacology you don't even have to buy a book because there are a lot of references book in your library so you can like have access to that as well now for anatomy and physiology i did not buy any books because one our teacher provided us a detailed notes second i already had anatomy and physiology books these all books that you're seeing are anatomy and physiology books now the main book that everybody uses is the bd chaurasia's human anatomy book which is in volume one two and three but there are other books as well but this is the most commonly used book as well as there is ross and wilson anatomy and physiology book you can use that as well my friends use it and it is really detailed and really very helpful as well so the next subject is pathophysiology and for that i did not buy any books but i did refer a lot of books and one of them is the pathologic basis of disease uh, well, let me show you so yeah Pathologic Basis of Disease by Elziver. Now this book should be available in your library as well as there are a lot of pathologic pathology books that will be available in your library. So go access that, have complete notes about that and you'll just understand it and make it easy. So yeah, Pathophysiology. I really like that subject as well. Like my, one of my favorite subjects I believe. So the next is Microbiology and Biochemistry. Now um again i did not buy any books for microbiology as well as biochemistry our teachers provided enough material for us they gave us binded notes they just provided each and everything possible and they explained it in a really good way so i really did not have to buy books or refer to any books for those subjects but if you do want to refer like you know if you do want to like refer to any books i would really prefer uh this one so this is a biochemistry review book which is a Lippincott's illustrated reviews now Lippincott you you might have heard about Lippincott right so this is a review sort of illustrated version for biochemistry and it was really useful to like refer and for microbiology um, it is Anantanarayan and Bach Panikers so yeah it is from university press i guess yes university press book i referred this book it these all books are medical books and will obviously be available in your library so you can just go through them and like you know review did i cover all the subjects hello everybody if you just made here i was editing this video and just realized that i forgot to talk about nutrition and dietics so for that subject i did not buy any books uh, our teacher gave us a very nice powerpoint but i referred to some books um in my library that were available references and then made my own notes i really did make a great note on nutrition so you can always have books in your library now obviously because of this covid situations we do not have access to our college library so you can always find books online just search the book and download the pdfs and then go through it and make your own notes and that is how you can like you know get a great note well i guess i covered all these subjects so now let's talk about study materials and resources the first thing is textbooks obviously or references books you can always have access either in the internet if you are looking for a foreign writer there are pdf books available at in free and you can just download it and then read accordingly or you can just visit to your library and then like you know library has a very big collection of books so your college library is the best resource or study resource that you will ever get now another thing is your teachers powerpoint now powerpoint like the teachers notes actually give you a detailed description about what sort of contents do you need to study because you know sometimes curriculum might be vast so your teachers do condense it and provide you the contents that you need as well as you can find um, videos online that actually provides you a very good explanation so some of the uh, some of the websites or some of the you know study internet sort of thing that i took reference and actually i have been studying till this date is khan academy now in you can find it in youtube they have their channel where they explain literally everything in so easy way like ask any medical students 
everybody watches their video and it really helps you a lot to understand the basics as well as there is osmosis as well you can have access to osmosis and take a brief uh, look into their videos as well and then prepare and make your own notes and understand now what I prefer for studying is making my own notes even though teachers do provide you a detailed note having references like taking references from different books from internet and then combining it all to make your own note is really very effective method of studying and I have been doing this since the very first year till my fourth year as well so I guess you can like you know make your own notes as well and if you do want to know how I make my notes then you can check out my videos my previous videos I have shown you how I take notes there are I guess two videos but uh, you can watch the videos I will link it down in the description box if you want to take your nursing notes as well as I have this book well this is a nurse's pocket dictionary by JP now nurses pocket dictionary is a very handy and very essential book that you I believe everybody should have either you be in clinicals or any class all the diseases and all sort of medical terms if you do not know and because in your first year it is very new to you I guess this dictionary like dictionaries or any sort of pocket dictionaries will actually help you a lot so I really recommend you having a pocket dictionary as well so yeah that is it for this video guys I hope you find I hope you found this useful for your first year of nursing these are so those were some of the books that I used and some of the methods I used to study the resources where I collect information from and also there are question banks available so one of the question bank that I always use is Samiksha Publications question bank. They give you the past questions as well as some probable questions uh, for the future. And there is a lot of question collection books available out there. Like Samiksha Publication have them and Tara Publication also have them. So you can like go and access and whatever suits you, you should buy that and like practice some questions. As well as do ask your library teacher or you know do ask your library teacher or your college to give you past questions as well because um, they do have they will do they will obviously have the collection of all the terminal examination question papers as well as board exams question paper with themselves so you can just take them and then like you know photocopy it make your own copy of questions and then return them back which is what I did and it really helped like you know past questions are very necessary because you because they give you an idea of what sort of questions you are asked what sort of contents that you actually need to focus because there is a lot to study so yeah you can just do it like that and for MCQs or multiple choice questions you can always go through your notes go through the books and high yield points that you feel are high yield and you know some points that you might think is important just make sure you underline it highlight it study and that is how you can give your mcqs as well so i guess uh so i guess this video give you a sort of um resources that you might need or some sort of you know references that i used well i just wanted to help you guys out and i don't know if i did help you or not with that but if you do want to know more about other classes like for BSc second year or third year or even fourth year, I will surely do my videos in future. And yes, again, do not forget to subscribe to this channel because you will be getting information about nursing and as well as joining me with my nursing journey. And yeah, yeah. make sure you hit the like button as well as comment down below what sort of books that you have been using in your nursing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.